Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. Y'all gotta come to the live. You feel me? We be lit. Go ahead and grab y'all snacks for the video. I got some M&Ms and some root beer. That bitch bout drink. It's the end of the stream. But let's get into it. He went on Joe Rogan. It was to win 38 days later. 2024. Show. On the 1st of February 2024, Sheldon Johnson appeared on the Joe Rogan Experience. Okay. 38 days later, he was arrested and charged with murder. It was episode 2096, Joe Rogan with Joe Rogan, crazy. Sheldon Johnson, and another person named Josh Dubin. Josh had been on the podcast six different times before, explaining on an earlier episode that he was a lawyer who worked with wrongfully convicted felons. Joe what Rogan's bald head drives were crazy. Here to That's get the word out about wrongful convictions. In three out of six of Josh's appearances, he'd bring these wrongful convicts to tell their story. He spent three decades in jail for murders that he didn't commit. So when Josh brought in Sheldon Yo, Johnson, it stories. seemed this would be another positive episode, but it quickly became apparent that Sheldon was slightly different. I figured we'd do something a little bit different. Typically, the person sitting to my right is so- he really kills someone a month later. When that was wrongfully convicted. Sheldon is guilty. Sheldon had only just been released from a 25 year prison stint, but Josh had brought him he on specifically as an example of someone who'd been given an unfair amount of time, believing Sheldon never deserved his 25 years in prison. To, to say he never deserved the 25 years? <laughs> And then he can be a murder, a, a whole murder one month later is crazy. Well, you can be the judge of that. <laughs> Born 1975, Sheldon Johnson grew up in the Martin Luther King Jr. Towers, aka York. a poverty stricken housing project in Harlem, New York City. His entire family tree had been in and out City. of prisons. My father was incarcerated. He did about 15 years. I was incarcerated. He doesn't even look like someone that would commit a murder, though. My grandfather was incarcerated, my great-grandfather was a slave, and my son um, killed somebody when he was 12 years old. While Whoa, Sheldon was the mind. only one in his family who had functional hearing. My mother's deaf, my father's deaf, my sister's deaf, my aunt's deaf. I grew deaf. up in a deaf household. Therefore, his father, a drug dealer, brought Sheldon along to help him translate a deals. And by the age of 12, Sheldon had joined the exact same line of work. I started selling drugs. Guy offered me an opportunity to be a lookout, and I would just stand there, and eventually I just slowly moved up the ranks. It turned me into, into, into this person that I was never meant to be. As a result, he began to rack up charges. Driving without a license, standing on the corner, little yeah. small petty drug cases. Hey, and spent of most of his man. teens in the Rikers Island prison. Although it'd be after his release at the age of 21 that things went downhill badly. He commit two different armed robberies, receiving a wow. sentence of 50 years in prison, which Josh Damn, argued. 50 years at 21? He gonna be 71 when he It was out. incredibly unfair, given only one person received minor injuries. He got hit in the head with the gun right here on the side of his head, and he had two stitches, and they gave me 25 years for that case. Did you hit him in the head? No. Regardless, prison is where Sheldon realized he had to turn his life around. It was at over. that moment I really said, I have to change my life. I, I just can't do this. Beginning a prison journal about hope, change, and reform. In his entry letter to my younger self- I'm not gonna lie though, you deserve prison. You, you low-key did an armed robbery with a gun. Like, low-key, you deserve prison. Oh, if you're selling drugs, that's one thing. Drugs don't hurt anybody. The person that wants the drugs, that's them. That's their body. But to go and actually, like, you feel Explain, me? just because you're surrounded by violence does not mean that violence is the way to solve your problems. Sheldon, two wrongs do not make a right. Violence well. only begets violence. Learn how to respond and not react. In a different entry, he'd state, As we know, I'm currently in prison, which I've learned does one of two significant things to its occupants. Brings the best out of them or the worst. I saw individuals who were at their worst, and I saw guys who were at their best. The guys who were at their best were guys who were involved. Hey, I wonder if you Gave up that butt. <laughs> my fault. My in fault. Education, post secondary education programs. Realizing the role model prisoners were those with an education, Sheldon spent years educating himself. I got into school, hey, I got my GED, and then I went on to obtain my bachelor's. You ever got monkey? You ever got on monkey on stream? I stream on Twitch too, so they got it banned. Twitch bans you immediately. I'm gonna have to do a kick only stream and get on one. Behavioral science for mercy. I stopped smoking weed. I stopped smoking cigarettes. Matter of fact, I started working. Hey, in the Thursday, forget about that. Thursday, 
I'm going to uh, get on Monkey, bro. I'm going to stream and get on Monkey. I, I discovered that I had a knack for complicated things, case law, and I was actually helping guys get out of prison. He'd further add to his journal, I have grown dramatically in these 14 years when I could have easily withered away. I've learned that I love Shakespeare, years. that I love acting, that I love writing, that I enjoy reading philosophy, that I love reading criminal law, that I love writing legalese. Sheldon had changed his life to such an extent, BuzzFeed advocated for his release back in 2016. He became a model inmate, said David Roth, the prison social uh. worker. His days were so full that he went to bed exhausted and fell asleep immediately. As a result of his good behaviour, Sheldon was released after 25 years of his 50 year sentence, appearing on a podcast God called years. Success After Lockdown, on which he'd imply that he'd never go back to prison. I'm reflecting, I'm saying to myself like, yo, I yeah, I'm never going back to prison. Uh, I'm, I'm new. 30 days later, murder someone. Yeah, it's been the next 50 years like this. When he'd appear on Joe Rogan one month later, Sheldon again implied that he wouldn't go back to jail. Individuals who have been shown to acquire associate's degrees and bachelor's degrees are like 92% less likely to return back to prison. With Josh using Sheldon as an example, that change was always possible. How do you make change happen? No. He's living it and making it happen. Look at this beautiful mind and how he articulates himself. He began working for the Queen's Defense helping troubled you again, to no catch cap. these kids before they fall and I want to show them the way and even began to consider more formal education Sheldon asked me should I go to law school before we came here in the process expressing his he disbelief that he turned his life around now he got caught I just came law. from the bowels of hell 25 years in prison and now I'm in the sky above the clouds in the heavens headed Yo, to a destination you locked to... up for 25 years Dog, you don't know about phones. You don't know about Twitter. You don't even know about the hub. <laughs> talk about change and to talk about all of the things that brought That's me tough. to this place today. I see why Joe Rogan even posted a clip titled, Sentenced to 50 Years, Sheldon Johnson decided to turn his life around. However, Sheldon would make one final important claim. But this is how fast your life can change from just one simple mistake. It's never been easier oh to start a podcast God, bro, than I can't the Riverside. Get one video without an ad. YouTube, why? Y'all some bitches. Came reality only 38 days later. He claimed that he had turned his life around after spending most of his adult life in prison. In fact, last year, he started working for the Queen's Public Defender's Office. Well, now he is accused of killing a man and then dismembering his body. Sheldon was childhood what? friends. He killed someone and chopped him up? With a man named Colin Small, with whom he'd also make a bold as hell. So spent over 10 years in prison. Therefore, upon Sheldon's release, Small was helping Johnson get back on his feet. However, at some point, their friendship took a turn. On the 6th what of March, though? 2024, police received a call from a tenant who lived in New York, claiming to have heard two gunshots from Colin Small's apartment, oh, as well as a voice begging, please don't, I have a family. Police drove over to the flat and knocked on the door, only to find Sheldon Johnson inside, who claimed that Colin Small had a apparently gone upstate. Well, police searched the oh, apartment and it. found half of Colin Small's body, finding the other half back at Sheldon's apartment, in addition to concrete and a pipe. Sup? Yo, what's going on? Appreciate you joining the stream, bro. What's going on? Vex suit. CCTV outside Colin's apartment showed been, Sheldon bro? Johnson entering and exiting, trying to conceal his identity with a range hey, of different cutting, disguises. Cutting the nigga up in half? What are you doing? Just, just setting up and hustling. Hey, I like, I like to hear that, bro. That's what I like to hear. Going to bed. Good night, gang. All right, good night, step. Appreciate you staying basically the whole stream, bro. You was a goat. You a bad goat, man. Me in one of these up? Hey, yo. stills he's seen wearing the exact same jacket as he, he was in a photo he half. took for the Queen's defenders. Sheldon was therefore no. arrested and charged with Colin's murder. Yo, why he got this? <laughs> Why is head shaped like a condom? Uh, screaming I'm innocent as he was placed sure, into the cop car. Don't be here Sheldon every day? maintained this innocence hey, all the way gold. to court. Yesterday, Sheldon Johnson gold, pleaded no not guilty to the charges. He had quite I mean, a few supporters hey, Steph, inside must be the trying to get As the comments on his episode changed overnight. Imagine it's being locked wild. up for being wronged by the system for over 25 years, only yep. to prove that the system was right. Amazing. The judge who gave him 50 years must feel pretty smart yep. right now.
I really crazy. believed I was gonna die in prison. Well, you're not wrong, buddy. Sheldon's own father stated, I'm surprised my son was arrested. I was shocked. He learned and studied in prison for 26 years. Yep. He is a good man. He was doing work in a law office. There were no problems. He's a good man. He just chopped the guy up in half. <laughs> I heard but prisons a lot internet access. They need to get him gone. Doubt nobody was as shocked as Josh Dubin. He, he, he ended Sheldon Johnson's episode stating, I'm very thoughtful in who I bring on. I think this was one of the best ones yet. But he's still yet to talk publicly best since Sheldon's yet. new allegations. Joe, on the other hand, talked about it recently. He was guilty before, and we Joe, knew he was guilty. He got 50 years. Right. And then he was talking about how he turned his life around this, like, a month after he was on the podcast. Yeah. Cut some dude's head off. The homie didn't understand new age. HD security cameras. <laughs> Theorizing that prison Real. had only made him worse. Was that because he spent 20 Nah, don't years. try to turn it around, Joe. Joe used to have hair like Mr. Clean. <laughs> I did not know he used to have hair, but that's wild. Years in jail, which is you insane. You go to be in jail? Locked up in a prison and then... How expect. you gonna say... <laughs> yeah, he's, re he's rehabilitated and one month later, he couldn't make his hands off. <laughs> Hey, to acclimate. That is insane, uh -huh. bro. Prison really On messes people up, though. I will say, prison does mess people up. But cutting somebody's head off in half in a body is wild. 